Dude, what would happen if we took on an alien ship? Both these they go! Tag teamed it with ostriches. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and tried to make a oh, house please. fly with Andrew W.K. Blast off! Ali is crazy and cool at the same time. He thinks of stuff you'd never really come up with. Victorious! I describe Jackson as funny, wild, and totally nuts. Ultimate and cool. Ah! He pushes everything to its limit, whereas I just want to see Whoa! stuff explode. Ah! Dude, how awesome would it be to be a star in a space action movie? Yeah, we could fly a spaceship and protect the Earth from an alien attack. And take out their mothership with our spaceship. A space battle for Earth! You want to save the world like in the movies? You need three things. Awesome pilots, that's us. A mighty spaceship, and of course, bizarre aliens. Dude, what would happen if we battled aliens? Today, Earth is in danger from this thing. An alien spaceship. They've been cruising all over the galaxy and stealing food from planets. Like, they stole almost all the cheese from the moon, and they took our crackers. That's all just wrong. I know. We have a very intense alien situation on our hands. To stop these aliens from taking off with our snacks, we need to destroy their ship before it even takes off the only way we know how, by ramming it with our own ship. That's right, I said it. In order to successfully ram our ship through the alien ship, we need to hit speeds of 40 miles per hour and hit the ramp just right to get enough air to clear it. Our pilot, CJ. CJ. Yeah. Do you think that you can do this? I know that I can do this. Taking out this alien ship won't be easy. It's made of metal, it's 20 feet wide, and it's full of cheese. But our spaceship has 400 horsepower that's gonna get us up to our takeoff speed of 40 miles an hour and blasts into and through that alien ship, grounding it for good. Jackson will be giving CJ speed updates, and I'll be in the back helping CJ line up our spaceship with the takeoff ramps. Jackson, give me a countdown. T minus five, four, three, Two, one. Attack! All right, we're going 20 miles an hour. Okay, 30, 35. Go, CJ, go. You lined up perfectly. We're at 40. <laughs> we did it. These aliens aren't going anywhere. I got my shuttle up to 40 miles an hour and smashed right through that spaceship. Yeah, boy. There's cheese everywhere! Captain ZJ hit that alien mothership right on target. And now they can't go anywhere. We destroyed it! Mr. Alien, you have been grounded! This is not your cheese! All your crackers! Dude, what would happen if we battled aliens? Mmm, yeah! cheese. Guys, I've been thinking. How impossible would it be to get a meal in the jungle? Well, jungle birds swoop up food without any problems. They make getting a jungle meal look easy. They just fly and scoop. That's it. If we master the fly and scoop, we'd be kings of the jungle. To the skies! You see, jungle life is awesome, but living out here makes you hungry. So that's why we're here at the Jungle Lake with all types of tasty morsels. But the unfortunate part about the jungle lake is it's a bit hard to eat if you don't have an upper bird's eye view. So that's exactly what we've done. We have become birds. Dude, what would happen if we try to fish like jungle birds? We have become birds, and we are going to fly across this lake 100 feet and pick up all kind of different yummy morsels in there. Lab dudes have built this 100-foot-long jungle fly rig which uses cables to suspend us a foot above the water surface. Once we're harnessed in, we'll swoop down and glide just above the water as we hunt for our prey. The bird that can scoop up the most food from the lake wins. Well, you know it's gonna be me. I'm a sugar glider. Hey, sugar glider, how are you gonna scoop up your prey with your wings? These aren't just wings. They're wing nets. See those bad boys right there? 
Yeah, I'm gonna scoop up everything in my path. All right, CJ, so what bird are you? I'm a web-footed cackle squaw. I'm sorry to hear that. You shouldn't be. Check this out. My net in between my web feet is actually gonna... <laughs> you look at that. A little bit of leftovers. Anyway, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna stick my feet in the water, and I'm gonna pick up every little piece of food that I can and be the winner. I'm Pterodactyly. You see, since you're in the jungle, you gotta go prehistoric. That's why I got my prehistoric talons, and I'm just gonna scoop up all the fish and marine life I can. Jackson, you're up first. We're gonna have the lab dudes hook you up. Ali and I are gonna be on the other side of the lake monitoring exactly how many pieces of food you pick up. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Lab dudes! Jackson! Yo! Are you ready? Meep! Jungle launch! Coming up, dudes and ostriches go into battle. Oh, oh, oh. And Andrew WK helps us make cartoon stunts go boom. Right now, we're trying to see if we can fish like birds. We'll each be gliding just a foot above the water on this jungle fly rig so that we can grab our prey from the air using our own fishing techniques. Whoever catches the most fish wins. Jackson's up first. Jackson! Yo! Are you ready? Meep! Jungle launch! Oh! Oh, there we go. Oh, Use right. that net! Use that net! As soon as I started flying, I saw a whole bunch of tasty jungle morsels to my left <laughs> and just threw my left wing and net into the water. Big mistake. Just using my left wing made it behave like a rudder, and I started cycloning. Oh, he's flying he's backwards. Let's get his net. Gather up. Oh, what did I get? What did I get? We have one lobster. And Here's your prize. we have one polka dotted fish. I may have only picked up a lobster and a fish, but I clearly have the largest fishing apparatus. There's no way all these talons or CJ's tiny web feet will produce more bounty than I have. All right, Jackson, it's time for Pterodactyl Lee to grab everything living and swimming in this pond. Let's do this. I know I look regal, but it's time to get prehistoric and have a prehistoric food fest. Whoa, whoa. He doesn't have any thumbs, dude. He's not gonna be able to lift anything. All right, Ollie. Jungle lunch! Oh! <laughs> dude, look at that! As soon as I took flight, the food started rushing by me at warp speed. Time to dip my talons in the water and win this thing. Talons? What is that, an alligator he has? Pterodactyly! Found the gators! He has a gator. Oh, Ollie! Look at that! Awesome! He has one of these little fish that I have. Jabra fish. He has a giant glow-in-the-dark goldfish, rainbow fish, and a lobster. I have one of these. And an alligator. Nice! Pterodactyls are the original flying fishermen. I'm a genius for using their styles. You are right now holding the lead, but that is only because the web-footed cackle squaw hasn't showcased his skills yet. You know what? I think CJ's web is like a good idea, but it's not big enough. It's gonna be able to hold like one of these fish. CJ! Yeah! You ready? I'm ready, brother! Jungle launch! He's taking off. He's about to take flight. Oh! He's dragging his web feet. It's working. Get it. Skimming over Try the water. Try to get it. He's, he's not positioned correctly. It isn't gonna happen. Look at him. He's so flustered. No, he it has to hit your web. He's using his hands. Dude! Oh, CJ! Dude! Yeah! Woo! How did uh, that feel, dude? Oh, let's see. Let's see your flippers. Uh. Oh. Uh, dude, you didn't get any. I didn't get anything. Dude, they're empty. And you have a fish in your hand. Well, yeah, I had to grab something. What happened? My web feet were supposed to help me catch food. Instead, they caught nothing. Nothing. And one embarrassed cackle squaw. I think that the very clear winner of this is Pterodactyl League. Oh! We shall feast! Guys, to truly survive in the jungle, you need to partner up with your fellow animals. It's all about teamwork. I think I see your point. How awesome would it be if dudes and animals worked together? They could do anything. Only the best dude-animal combos would survive, which would obviously be my animal partner and I. Sir? I accept your challenge. My animal partner and I will see you in the jungle. 
Ollie and CJ have gone full jungle commando in this arena of jungledom to see who can survive in the jungle best. The challenge, a race to see who can ride their jungle partner fastest and get to a tasty banana hanging 10 feet off the ground. Their jungle partner, the ever mysterious, tall and exotic, ostrich. <laughs> Dude, what would happen if we raced on ostriches? So you guys are gonna be running around on top of six foot tall, 400 pound ostriches and try to get your ostrich to land you right underneath this banana so you can snatch it and win the game. Are you guys ready to do this? Yeah! As soon as I got on my ostrich, we gelled immediately. I'm gonna navigate us both right to that banana and grab the early win. Whoa! First rule of riding an ostrich, bring a saddle. Whoa! Second rule of riding an ostrich, wear loose-fitting jeans. <laughs> I can't, these jeans are so tight. <laughs> Can we get a ladder? There you go. Jungle creatures. Go! Oh, oh, I was expecting to make this game look easy, but as soon as the game started, my ostrich just went buck wild. Instead of eating a victory banana, I'm holding off for dear life. Whoa, whoa. Riding an ostrich is like pedaling a bike at full speed without handlebars. How do I steer this thing? <laughs> I just missed it on that last pass. So I'm gonna line my guy up directly with the banana and take this. On an evolutionary level, controlling my ostrich and winning this thing might be impossible. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I had my ostrich dialed in. I took him deep into the corner for a full course run at that banana, and then I fell, bucked off by my own jungle partner. Thank you, ostrich. I knew I would only get one shot at the banana before CJ got back in the game. I had a chance to win. Ollie's going for the banana. My ostrich and I had become one. We were in full gallop and headed right towards that glorious prize. You got the banana! Oh, yes! Victory! I did it! I partnered with my jungle beast and won! I guess you could call me the king of the jungle. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, what would happen if we tried to fish like jungle birds? Dude, look at that! Oh, amazing! Hook, line, and dinner. Dude, what would happen if we raced on ostriches? Yes! Oh. Thanks, ostrich. You ever think about how anything is possible in the cartoon world? Totally. In that world, no rules apply. Not gravity or any of that other stuff. Yeah, cartoons can do anything, even break through wall. Dude, I love that. They can break through the wall and even leave a perfect shape behind. Well, we're experts at breaking things. Hey, I bet you we can do it just as good as the cartoons, if not better. Now, cartoons live in the most awesomely cool, whacked out world that there is. See, the lab dudes have built us three awesome cartoon walls. Ali Jackson and I are gonna get a running start and jump through these walls to see who can leave the best body imprint in the wall. Now, they make it look really easy in the cartoons. But is it gonna be easy in real life? We're about to find out. Dude, what would happen if we ran through walls like cartoons? We're about to break through walls, leaving our body imprints behind just like they do in cartoons. I'm up first, and my cartoon style is the classic X. Spread out and stay as rigid as possible. Cartoon! And he's off! And he's off! Oh, he oh, he fell right through! Nice! I think I did it! Dude, it totally shows my imprint. The arms. arms right here. Right there. All right, who's going next? Of course I am. I'm gonna do the classic run full speed through the brick wall imprint. Run as fast as you can and keep running. Cartoon! Go! 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 ran his little heart out, but I don't think he left much of an imprint. How was that? Dude, I mean, that was amazing. Are you satisfied with the outcome? Yeah. The running part, I had down. The imprinting part, not so much. All right, so my tactic for this is to run at this wall and just completely cannonball right through the middle of it and hopefully leave a perfect circle in it. 
All right, CJ. Cartoon! Cartoon! Oh! Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I did it. Oops. I thought my cannonball was going to make a clean hit, but I destroyed that wall. I think we all did pretty good. Right. But as far as trying to leave our body in the wall, I think Jackson did the best. You win! Yes! You win! Ah! You know what cartoon stunt I like? What? The seesaw. Oh. Where one dude stands on one end, and then another dude jumps down, sending them flying into the air. The cartoon cats use that stunt all the time to catch birds that are hung up in cages. So I say, time for a bird snap. To pull off the classic cat versus bird cartoon stunt, the lab dude hooked this up with a giant cartoony bird cage and a humongous seesaw to launch a cat 20 feet in the air to try to catch the bird. The cat, CJ. The bird, Igor. Ollie's bird friend. Cuckoo! It's on. Dude, what would happen if we tried to launch a cat with a seesaw like cartoons. All right, CJ the cat. Yes. How you feeling about this? Feeling great. In order for me to fly up 20 feet to grab Ollie's little friend, Igor, I'm going to stand on the lowered end of the seesaw with a safety harness attached. While the lab dude who weighs 190 pounds, that's 70 pounds more than I weigh, jumps down onto the higher end, that extra weight is going to send me flying into the air. My job from there is to time out my dismount from the seesaw perfectly so that I get the maximum height to snatch Igor away from Ollie. Ollie the bird. Yes. How are you feeling up there with Igor? Dude, I have nothing to fear. In cartoons, the cat never catches the bird. This isn't a cartoon, and I am no ordinary cat. Yeah, can I, can I, can I? CJ, he's taunting you. Ali, I'm about to ruffle your feathers. All right, all right, all right, enough of this. Let's do it. Flap dude, jump. classic cartoon stunt by trying to launch CJ the cat 20 feet in the air with a seesaw so we can try to snatch Igor the bird from Ollie's cage. Let's do it! Lab dude, jump! Seriously? Ah, what? what was that, a scaredy cat grab? Ollie the bird's talking and instigating and just blabbering about nothing is really messing with my head and I'm not liking it. Good thing I'm cousins with a mockingbird because this guy's just mocking you. This time you're not gonna be so lucky. Lad dude, jump! Oh! What is this? Igor says you should go back to your kitty litter because you're doing a stinky job. CJ might be a cool cat, but he can't outsmart my bird brain. I am tired of your bird chirping nonsense. Lad dude, climb up as high as you can and give me everything you got. Okay. CJ. Let's do it! Whoa! No! Yes! No! No, Igor! Yes! In your bird face. I never expected CJ the cat to fly that high. But just like in cartoons, he pulled it off. Nice job, CJ. He's my friend now. What? Igor! My favorite cartoon stunt is when they use explosions to send things way high up in the air. Yeah, you know what else is cool? When they use explosions to make houses fly up in the air. It's like boom, and then up it goes. And I bet with enough boom, we can make a house take off. Boom! Dude, what would happen if we tried to make a house fly with explosives? Gentlemen, this is how it's going down. Under this house right here, we have two giant cartoon bombs which are gonna lift this house up with 20,000 pounds of cartoon bomb pressure with a giant explosion. <laughs> Did someone say explosion? What? <laughs> Andrew WK! <laughs> Dude, we've got Andrew WK in the house, or right outside our house. You know what I mean. Jackson, dudes, I'm here because I love cartoons. I love explosions. And I believe that real life should be just like a cartoon. Ah. If we can turn this into a real life flying house, I think we'll make a lot of people happy. My only problem with that, dude, is that this is a house. And I don't think that it's gonna fly up like 40 feet. I think that it might like, boom, go up a few feet, but then come crashing back down to Earth. Dude, as you guys know, cartoon bombs are no joke. And we have two of them under there. 
this house will fly. I predict it's gonna be awesome! Let's launch this house! As the lab dudes are putting the finishing touches on the house, we're moving a safe distance away. Are you guys ready? Oh yeah. I think so. With 20,000 pounds of explosive force, we'll be able to send this house straight up, just like in cartoons. In cartoons, houses can fly! So please, house, fly! went straight up, 40 feet. That house took off like a rocket. I've never seen anything like that, except in cartoons. <laughs> yes, yes. This is perfect. Go. This yeah. is everything I wanted wow. and more. It went straight up in the air at least 40 feet. And then it just like hung out yeah. up there. See when it landed though, the walls kind of just peeled apart like a banana. You know what people are saying in cartoon world right now? What? This was awesome! <laughs> really? Dude, what would happen if we ran through walls like cartoons? <laughs> X marks the spot. Dude, what would happen if we tried to launch a cat with a seesaw? Do it! Whoa! No! Oh! Yes! CJ gets his bird. Dude. What would happen if we tried to make a house fly? Mobile home. So today we learned that aliens can be grounded. Pterodactyl is a fishing machine. Ground the gators! And that even in cartoons, what goes up must come down. Oh!